there was a new update of world box whoa the volcano already looks cooler <laughs> pause time stop lava oh no i broke it oh oh there's things <laughs> oh what is this all right so here's the latest patch log so version 0.8 the civilization update oh spit i'm so excited i'm gonna scroll through here if you want to pause and read it you can otherwise i'm just gonna highlight a few things so here's it if you want to pause it wow there's a lot oh good luck reading that <laughs> so i'm gonna go through and highlight some things first added new improved building sprites all right cool yeah they added a whole new mode spectator mode now you can follow around people and then when that person dies it follows around the killer that's so cool different roof colors leaders of villages share resources between each other there's food now there's new tool tips there's new traits something with crabzilla slain or died added events oh cool squad system for armies now armies have a general whoa that's so cool buildings will be placed more nearby to each other so we should start to see more populous cities i think that would account for that stone ore and gold are places buildings instead of via drops now via drops so now as a building weird i don't understand that completely Ooh, new road tiles Ooh, the graph growth rate has increased perfect Ooh, make huge deserts appear less on new generation now that's a big win for everybody who plays this game <laughs> then there's a ton of fixes awesome so let's start playing with around with things so first off let's go create new world so this looks the same we'll go to a huge one sure spam whatever blah, blah, blah. loading screens the same all right this is a garbage world let's make a better one all right it's because i put the water up let me put it down <laughs> all right here we go oh that's whoa the first tab or category whatever you want to call it so far this hasn't changed we're supposed to have more history things and when i click the inspect tool this thing pops up what is this i click it and it just deselects it okay okay oh world laws they have symbols now oh that's so cool those are some good looking symbols too I really like that castle. That's cool looking. Statistics of the world. I don't know if there's more. Oh, there is more. Deaths from hunger. I believe that wasn't there before. Creatures eaten. I don't think was there. I could be wrong. Create and shape your world. Nothing new here. All right. And then civilizations. We already got a sneak peek of this. There's new things. There's a kings and leaders. See the location of leaders when zoomed out. Oh, that's cool. I. <laughs> it won't show me now. There's no population in this world, but it will soon. Important events. Show all major events the moment they happen uh, okay we'll definitely check those out as soon as i put down the people animals is there anything new we've seen all these guys before all right nothing new in this category natural disasters also nothing new destructive powers okay nothing new and now the other various powers nothing new all right but the crabzilla was said to have something new with them Ooh. okay his lasers as <laughs> his, his lasers have been improved <laughs> All right, makes sense though that there's not very many new things because it is a civilization update. So it's focusing on the people and how they react with each other, like having generals and the way their cities are made. So let's go ahead and start placing people down. So I'm over here. I'm gonna place down dwarves because I want I want to see them all. Orcs down here on this weird little island. Elves, sure, why not? All right, so I place people down. So if I turn on the borders and villages, so we're used to this. There's new colors. Oh, that's a scary looking color. It's dwarvish. Oh, that's a new green. I think we've seen that kind of orange. There's purple now, darker blue. Definitely never seen before. Ooh, look at the campfire. This is a dwarvish new campfire here. The humans, I think, have the same one. The humans got the same one. Orcs are up here. All right, everybody's got the same campfire. Their houses, look at that. The orcish roof right here is yellow because that's the, that's the color of their city. Same with the humans down here. They have purple roofs. Oh, that's so cool. Elves got green because their borders are green. So now if I turn on kings and leaders, there might, I don't think they're big enough yet. They're kind of just at the stage where everybody's kind of doing everything. So I think, I'm going to speed up time here, but I think this button on the side, it shows up for a lot of them. And I think it's literally just to deselect it. So let's look at the people. So here's a human. Okay, here's his mood. <laughs> his name's Ranu. So here's his favorite food. He's got bread. Bread's his favorite food. And okay, so there's warfare and stewardship. Administration skill of a ruler. Whoa, what? Military skill of a ruler. And then the diplomacy, attack speed, critical hit, speed, armor damage that we've all seen before. That's really cool. Especially how they start at zero. So they got to build a skill. So this mood is normal. <laughs> so, and this is a new button. Locate on map. This will bring you right to the location in your world. Oh, okay. Now following Renew. So this is the spectation mode. Oh, that's so cool. And I can zoom in and out and it just follows them. So technically I could just follow this guy forever. Let's follow Renu. See where he ends up. He'll either just become a king of this place and die of old age or maybe he'll get taken over and die in the war oh wait oh how do i oh oh look look at this that looks different <laughs> okay wait so do they stone looks different Ooh, gold what does gold look like 
darker oh that's really nice actually and then of course the iron looks like that so there's definitely been some upgrades do like bushes and stuff look different no okay oh the houses look different already oh randy was having kids <laughs> oh that's so cool the dwarves houses Ooh, look at the humans over here oh what is that is that a huge capital okay they have a leader now so if i go oh everything's happening kings and leaders so if i go to kings and leaders oh yeah okay look at that that's so cool so you got the king of the empire and then the leaders of the cities oh and there's even a flag bearer here what you true <laughs> he's british over here his favorite food is tea so if i spectate on him he's wearing a banner the color of his of his uh thing so i don't know if that means he's just like a flag bearer or oh they're gonna go to war aren't they okay i gotta stop spectating him look at that what what is that <laughs> it's some like weird stone house but for the dwarves that's so cool looking i love the new textures oh it's so cool too oh everything's so cool <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me just fangirling over here oh look at the new elvish one with all their new houses epic dude this is actually so cool this must be the new uh capital or town hall rather for the orcs so here if i turn back on borders zoom out here so that's super cool you can see all the leaders oh there's a leader out here somewhere <laughs> you can see him there but when you zoom in it's this guy it's a boo boo he's happy he's happy he likes berries oh that's so cool there's so many of them he's got good stewardship there are four at least i don't know what's good and he's got one in warfare interesting there's soldiers going through here okay they're meeting up now is there a general in these soldiers like there 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 must be right or maybe they're still too small <gasps> okay they they got they got taken over so once they get taken over as we just saw all the roof colors changed in the banner that one of the guys was holding changed as well okay they just they just took over this place okay that empire is spreading pretty quickly they got control over the donut i want to see what stone house is like oh look at the new barracks the port has some changes question mark oh here comes a huge battle oh never mind they just took them over okay this empire is huge <laughs> sorry if it sounds like i'm dying when i laugh it's because i just had a track meet and i ran hard okay these guys are killing each other it's dwarves against orcs the dwarves are wiping them out here comes the backup so where's the general so are the generals the guy with the flags because he just died <laughs> okay important events i turned that on what does that do i wonder if that lets us know if a city gets taken over okay oh in the top left new village cog Earl has been founded the king of Oma was slain all hail oh it's going fast oh a village was destroyed oh that's so cool and then it just goes away it's like minecraft chat <laughs> gap gat was founded okay cool new cities are being founded somewhere i don't really know oh gap gat was just destroyed uh, rip i wonder how rugen's doing or what was his name <laughs> he might have died at this point oh spit okay war's happening whoa what is that what did you see that there was like a what I don't know what that was oh snap okay so like there's generals going around i don't <laughs> uh this game's getting crazy look at that what is that they're attacking it and then is that like they're forced leaving this must be like a squadron here so the dwarves are here and then the flag bear is definitely the general because looking at this there's definitely a small group of dwarves here and they're gonna follow the general look at that they're following the flag bear that's so cool so they just have squads i wonder how many squads one city can have and if i look out here you could see all the flag bearers and you could see them all they're they're maneuvering around the cities they just kind of spread out that's so cool oh i love it i love it <laughs> there's a lot of rebellions though going on i wonder why i don't know what that means either it looks like as soon as it hits 100 they take the city oh here's a cool stone building this is human what oh that's cool it's got a bell and everything there's stone buildings popping up Ooh, here are some of the orcish buildings whoa that's scary looking i think that's the barracks more of the humans but purple <laughs> here's a look at the elves with some more of their stone houses whoa what is that oh it's the barracks that's really cool looking here's a big squadron of archers whoa oh that's cool looking that's new what do the dwarves look like Ooh, oh they that's so cool they have like a coliseum kind of thing oh a king died <laughs> all hail the new king <laughs> oh there's one of the new ruins oh that's cool they can get rid of the ruins they don't just wait till they like build something on top of it <laughs> okay here they go they're taking it 100 percent now it diminishes i don't know what it means by like the percentage going back down there's so many things happening so purple has so much influence that they even got a little general down here so having a general from another species or even just another empire inside of your own city or an enemy city or i guess a friend city i wonder if that boosts like the relationship or if they have some sort of trade agreement i don't know how in depth it really gets i just know it does <laughs> the dwarves are being killed oh look at the ruins Ooh, <laughs> sorry dwarves but it looks cool when you're dead oh it shows you their army what oh i want that more depth 
I want to be able to click on that. I want I want it to show me like how many generals they have and how many soldiers are under each general's control. They've got 25 gold, a ton of berries, bread, pie, wheat, wood, stone, so much metals, bone and leather. That's so cool. So relationships wise. So now the banners are more spread out. They used to be kind of overlapping each other. So their army then has been depleted a little bit. Oh, starving. Oh, that's cool. That's a new thing. Personality diplomat. Okay, so the king is a diplomat. King's reign. He's reigned for over 65 years and he's, and he's 89. Oh, okay. So looking at the kingdoms tab, it shows you their army, how much soldiers they have. So it's not only just population anymore. It's more of a soldiers game. Oh, look at that. Okay. So there's a general on this, on the ship right now. You can see it with the flag. Oh, <gasps> will he be dropped off? So watching the flag. Okay. No, where's he going on a diplomatic mission? I would assume or something. I don't know. <laughs> He got dropped off with these blue. Oh, okay. So he got dropped off with probably a squadron here and they can't, they went and took it over. I wonder if it's the same general or if he died there. This general here has got a huge army. So, okay. So if I click on here, yeah, their whole army is 44 out of 44. So it looks like they do keep their army all the way up. Whoa, look at that town hall. That's so cool. I wonder if it ever goes to castles or if that's basically the new castle. I think they made it so then they search out land to colonize more. Because if this was last update, they would never have landed on this island and said it was worth the colonize. Especially this one and this one, <laughs> which they actually got some nice cram-packed city in there. The new update, that's so cool. So there's all the new everything. And that's so cool how you can see the two different cities here because the the house colors. I think each city has one squadron. So a battle between like two empires here will have squadrons from all of their cities moving around to, I don't know, try and get some sort of strategical advantage of some sort or just kill the other generals. I don't know. If you haven't installed World Box, you should for sure do that. If you don't know how, I have a video on it. <laughs> and yeah.